Hey everyone, welcome March Madness. I'm Tony George. Did you flip the calendar this morning? It's March Madness. It's here, baby. Let's go. Uh, we're going to give you a free ACC play tonight, and we're going to give you an NBA lean as well. Um, on the Monday update here, we cached every card we had on Sunday, and speaking of March Madness, Thursday through Sunday, 7-1 and one against the spread in college basketball. Had Iowa yesterday getting points, and they blew Ohio State off the map. We hit a six and seven unit play in that run, and we are 45, 22, and one, our last 68 college basketball plays. For those of you that don't need a, calc or need a calculator, I'll give it for you. That's 66% against the spread over a 68 game sample size. Headed into March Madness. We got a free 60 bucks at docsports.com below. Go take that $60 off a 30 day package and get hooked up in the month of March for March Madness with a 29 year veteran that is. Totally dialed in and in sync in a very tough college basketball climate. You know, I'm not some guy on Instagram and Twitter telling you that I'm 24 and 0 and got the, you know, the, the, the biggest plays ever and, you know, super lock of the millennium. And Docs has been around 50 years. We're the I'm not screwing around crew. We got good cappers that tell like it is over there. Me being one of them. Invest, win, get paid in March. The record is documented. It doesn't get any better than that. Does not get any better than that. NASCAR winner, seven unit, had Truex Jr. over Kevin Harvick yesterday for seven unit play. We had Blaney over one of the Bush boys, and he got wrecked. Um, got back on the track, but he was way down. Um, so it happens in NASCAR, but nonetheless, another profitable card. And 2-0 and to start out the season with top picks. Last year, NASCAR went on 19-3 running top picks. NBA, another winner. I told you that we brought on a new guy last week. So far, we're 3-1. and one. Another pick tonight. So, uh, and those of you not paying attention to the PGA tournament, two weeks ago, three weeks ago at Pebble Beach, we went 3-1, and one, cached a bunch of tickets. The following week at the Genesis at Riviera, we went 3-1, and one, cached a bunch of tickets. This weekend, this past weekend at the concession, the WGC Workday Tournament, 3-1. and one. Yeah. We got Bay Hill this week. That's Arnold Palmer's tournament. And the following week, we have the Players' Championship, the fourth major, the one that all the players want to win. Besides the Masters and getting on a Ryder Cup team, they want to win that tournament. It'll be the strongest field of the year. We'll be ready. Don't go to sleep on PGA. The only thing we didn't do well on over the weekend was UFC. We got beat up in the UFC. And that happens, but uh, very rare. We've been really ticking along there. Um, so uh, we'll turn that around on our next card. Uh, that was the only really blemish on the entire weekend. So thanks for jumping on board. We had a lot of support in college basketball and the NBA and uh, NASCAR. So really appreciate it. You know, we're, we're here to win you money. Four unit totals play in college basketball tonight on a very short card. Four unit totals play in the NBA and a four unit NHL play today, Doc Sports. Let's get to it here today. First of all, in the NBA, just quickly, what in the hell is Houston doing laying points against anybody? Oh, it's the Cavaliers. Okay. Cavaliers just beat them by 14 two games ago. Now they're laying two and a half. What did they score yesterday? 84? Just saying. Just me and you having a cup of coffee. Taking a piss over a fence post. Cheers. We're going to go contrarian in the um, ACC game. The whole world, the entire universe, is on North Carolina against Syracuse. Line hasn't moved. Why? Well, it's that time of year. Syracuse off two losses, too. Georgia Tech by seven, Duke by 14. Both road games. Now they're at home. North Carolina on the road. Two and seven against the spread. North Carolina on the road against teams with above 500 record. Two and six straight up. Hello. Take a look at the shooting percentages. You know, North Carolina is not a great shooting team at all. As a matter of fact, if you take a look at their last five games, they've shot 27% from three-point range. 
And they're not going to shoot any better than that against Jim Beheim's matchup zone. Oh, Syracuse in the same time frame shot 40%. Syracuse also shoots 76 from the free throw line. A damn sight better than North Carolina in what should be a tight game. North Carolina owns the win, 81-75 over these guys back on January 12th. Jim Beheim needs every possible win he can get to get in the NCAA tournament. And these are two very, very good coaches. Have absolutely no illusions. You're catching North Carolina off a huge upset win against Florida State, 78-70. Wow, that looks good. Do you realize that Florida State had three starters out? I'm going to go contrarian. Small. Small. Syracuse plus a point and a half at home tonight to get over on North Carolina. That's your free pick. Back at you on Tuesday. Boom.